Hello you guys, my name is Jesus Tinoco and the sole purpose of this video is to show you guys some exercises that can help lower the risk of getting any hypokinetic disease and chronic illnesses such as hypertension, type 2 diabetes, obesity and any cardiovascular disease. All of these life threatening diseases can be substantially reduced by exercises on a daily basis. It is recommended by the Health and Fitness Association that a person engages in physical activity for 45 minutes to so 1 hour per day. Of exercises, we're going to start by stretching. The stretch should be done for at least 15 to 30 seconds max. So, we're going to start by stretching our hamstrings. So, we're going to grab our hands and we're going to try to touch our toes for 15 to 30 seconds max. Now, if you're unable to touch your toes or go as low as to a point where you can't touch your toes, you're going to go as low as you can. And as long as you feel your hamstring stretching, that means you're doing the exercise right. Now that that's done, we're going to stretch, we're going to stretch our quads. So, if you're unable to hold this position for 15 seconds at least, you might want to get a chair so you can balance yourself out. Same thing for the other limb. If you can't balance yourself out, you're going to want to grab a chair and hold on to it. That way you're able to keep that position for 15 to 30 seconds max. So, we're going to start our exercises by doing some jumping jacks. Why jumping jacks? Because jumping jacks it's a good way to start our cardiovascular system up and running. So we're going to try to do 15, but you want to try to work your way up to 20 and 30 max. And if you want to do it vigorously, you're going to want to do it as fast as you can. So we're going to start by doing 10. Okay, so that's 10 right there. Now, if you have any angle problems, or joint problems that enables you to do a regular jumping jack, this is an alternative way of doing a jumping jack. The only difference is, is that you're not jumping up and around. Now, so for our second exercise, we're going to be doing high knee raises. So you're going to be able to want to balance yourself with one leg. So we're going to start off with your right leg. So we're going to bring it up as high as we can. Now this is a slow pace. If you want to start doing it vigorously, you're going to do it at a fast pace and you're going to start feeling the pressure in your core. Also this exercise helps work on your lower leg muscles and it's like running for staying in the same place. So you're going to want to try to do this for 30 seconds or 30 times to a minute. The longer you do it, the more intense it's going to get, but the better it is for your cardiovascular system. For our fourth exercise, we're going to start by doing some push-ups. Now, if you have a hard wood floor, you're going to want to get, grab a towel and put it on the floor so you're able to put your knees on. That way it won't bother you when you're doing your push-ups. So regular push-ups is done by putting your hands on the floor, shoulder length way, and pushing out your legs, and going down and almost touching the floor with your chest, like so. You might want to do this 15 to 30 times. Now, there's an alternative way of doing this push-up if you don't have the strength to do it. This is the alternative way. Even though it might not be as doing a regular push-up, but at least it's a start to it. So, the only difference is you're putting one knee down and so all your strength and all the pressure is not going to your shoulder or your upper part. So that's how you do the alternative way of doing a regular push-up. Another exercise you're able to do for your lower abs is you're going to sit down on the floor. Now if you have a hardwood floor, you're going to want to have a blanket or a towel underneath so it won't bother you when you're doing the exercise. So this is what you're going to do pretty much. And grab your hands, put them next to your blanket, stretch out your legs, lean back a little bit, and you want to have your legs floating, and you try to bring them as close to you as you can, and forward. It's like doing a regular sit-up, but except you're not, your back's not going to the floor. You're going to want to do this at least 10 to 20 times. And the more you do it, the more intense it's going to get, but the better it is for your body. 
The benefit of exercise on a daily basis is the fact that it helps reduce chronic illnesses like I said in the beginning, such as cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, obesity, and hypertension. Also, they help reduce the stress level and the anxiety level. But also, one more benefit that exercise on a daily basis has for you is the fact that you get to have more energy control since the exercise demands for you to give more energy and also you help maintain your weight level and your body maintenance.